Why what? Why what? Lisa! Go ahead, take the, pass them, pass them down. Lisa! I see the noodles. Oh, I see the Who wants to play? Can I make a recommendation? <laughs> noodles, look it. Game buggy. Did you know I was coming? Yes. Yeah, you knew. Mama told us. No, I didn't. <laughs> yes. Back for your birthday. Mm -hmm. you okay, baby? I miss you guys. She's happy. You no, know, they haven't surprised you guys. I flew all the way from Florida. Yep, I flew all the way from Florida. I miss you guys. Yeah. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I love you, girls. I love you, noodles. You got him back? Yeah? You okay? Yeah? Okay. I missed you guys. <laughs> she was just like, I didn't know you worked at Ivy. <laughs> I saw a gym bag in here. Huh? I saw a gym bag in here. You weren't sure whose was it was. No, I know it was a How do you know I didn't get it? You took a stranger. <laughs> Veronica Velasquez is here to pick up her fifth grader, but today it's a very special surprise. They haven't seen each other in a year since Velasquez was deployed to Afghanistan. I missed everything about her, her voice, and her seeing her face every day. That's the first thing that came to mind was always my kids. The surprise was planned by Victor Sosa, Velasquez's sister's boyfriend, a college student who's helped take care of Jamie while her mom's been away. Jamie wasn't expecting her mother until next week. It's indescribable um, being away from someone you love with all your heart, like a mom. She didn't even see the birth of her grandkid. That's why I wanted to do it so bad for her. I know the sacrifice personally from my family and just seeing the sacrifice from her family and. It makes everything worth it. That sacrifice for her country, taking the single mother of three halfway around the world, her kids counting the days to see her again. What are your fears when she's away? Um, that she doesn't get shot or anything. Because I will miss her. Velasquez is back for two weeks, then headed to base in New York. She has another year and a half of military service and then hopes to see her kids grow up, not via Skype, but in person. Yeah, you got taller. Birthdays, holidays, just pretty much I miss everything for a whole year. It's time that I can't really make up, but just spend more time with them. In Pacoima, Rudabe Shabazi, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Why do you always 
always surprise me when you come down here. I love doing it. I love doing it. It's like the second time. Come on. Yeah. Well, I'm probably going to take her out to go see a movie or something like that. Go out to eat. Uh, play some Halo. Yeah, play some Halo. <laughs> And just hang out at the at the house, just play some on the Xbox or something like that. You don't you don't always have them. You don't realize how much they care, how much they mean for you, and until you're actually there, you don't have to see them every day. And then once you come back, it, it's it's like you, you just want to hold them all the time because you, you don't you weren't able to for a good six months. Spider jets that you see on TV and stuff like that, then you have the, the crawlers, which deal with satellite imaging and all that other stuff, and then you have um, E2s that do Come on. gonna yell at you is what he's gonna do. Gets mad at me when I try to wake him up. Rush. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever you do, you have to keep the face where I can see it. <laughs> we could have a lot of fun with this. Sit up, sit up. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> good, good. Hey. <coughs> wake up, little man. Wake up, wake up. Wake up. We will have to do this tomorrow. <laughs> hey, good. Oh, now he's getting that face. Hey, Briz. Ronan, get him back, little huh? Bobbles. I'm <laughs> having a good dream. I think I hear my dad. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. <coughs> Let's see how long this actually takes. Did you tickle me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the line would make me look good. <laughs> hey. 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 Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Rigden, you're just playing now. Okay, hold hey. on. He's thinking he's dreaming. Daddy told him rigged him. Come over here, Why are you smiling now? You know who it is. You know what's going on. <laughs> you know what's going on. You know what's happening here. <laughs> this is a really good dream. Daddy's here and he's tickling me. I think he's going to wake up in the morning thinking this is all a dream. <laughs> he's getting big. He's getting tall like his dad. Look how tall he is. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
All right, let's take him home. I'll drive. <laughs> Where are the keys in the car? Well, we, we want to see your. I'll pass them off to you. We want to see your videos with okay. the Connor and Aubrey. We'll post them. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. We're so excited. <laughs> oh my god! Stop taking pictures! <laughs> it's not, it's videotaping. Hey, really? Uh, <laughs> hey, Deidre. Yeah. Camera's here. They just, they just missed, yesterday. so. Hey, listen, I'll call you back, okay? Tommy, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to welcome. He's been deployed for almost a year, and he landed and came straight to the United Center. Please welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, private second classman Alex Kamka. Welcome back, welcome back. You were deployed in Camp Casey, South Korea. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for one moment, we would like to let you all know that his wife has no idea that he is home. We are going to bring it to the court the next time out, and we're going to play a cool game of hot and cold, and you guys are all participating. Are you guys ready? All right, so welcome home, and come the quarter break, we're going to reunite you with your wife. That's coming up next. We cannot wait. Welcome home, Alice Kamka, ladies and gentlemen, right here to the United Center. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what we have right now is a classic game of hot and cold, but what we have at stake is a lot of money. Whoever can find Benny the Bull in the fastest time will win $1,000. Let's meet our contestants. And what's your name, sir? Brendan. Brendan, where are you from? Chicago. He is from right here, Chicago. And what is your name? Karen. Karen. And Karen, where are you from? Palatine, Illinois. Okay, all right. Well, it's pretty simple. We're going to blindfold you, spin you around a few times, and then you have to stick your hands out and find Benny. Ladies and gentlemen, the louder you get and the more you cheer, that means they're getting closer. If you boo, that means you guys are walking the wrong way. You may need to switch directions, okay? All right, first up is Brennan. Let's get him blindfolded and spin him around a few times. He's going to have to find Benny. Now, Karen, you're going to get a chance to take a look at this. All right, let's go. Let's get him spun around. Here we go. And go. Wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Oh, looks like he's going the right way. Keep going. Oh. All right. Looks like he found him in a very short amount of time. Karen, are you ready? All right. Here we go. She's ready. Can you see? She cannot see. All right. Let's spin around. Here we go. One, two, three. All right. Now start walking, Karen. Whoa! Whoa! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Almost got him! Where's Benny? You're going the wrong way! Turn around! Karen! Keep going! Turn around! Go the other way! And looks like you got him! Take off your blindfold! Who is it? It is! Ladies and gentlemen, they are reunited! Alex and Karen, fresh from deployment from South Korea, he came here to the United Center and Karen had no idea that Alex was home. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the happy couple, Alex and Karen, back to Chicago. Check again for the Memphis Grizzlies, number 30, John Lure, and for the Bulls, Number 20, Tony Snell. Number 48, Nazi Muhammad. Talking to me when it comes on. Another day, another dawn. 
Another Keisha, nice to meet you, get the mad if I'm gone. What am I supposed to do when a club lights come on? It's easy to be pumped, but it's harder to be my film. Life, literally. That is true. I did threaten somebody with pen. Mama, don't give me pain. Oh, man. I was going to press it. Oh, Carrie. 